Welcome to the Varsity 845 preview of the Section 9 Wrestling Championships. I'm Sal Interdonato. It's been another exciting season. We saw a dream matchup last week when the section's best wrestlers, Cody Ruggiero and Jamie Franco, squared off. Now the main event is here, and we're going to preview the action at the Section 9 Division 1 Championships. Monroe Woodbury 125-pounder Jamie Franco has a chance to make history. Franco can join Pine Bush legend Troy Bazakis as the only wrestlers to win five section titles. Wrestling with a bullseye on his back is nothing new for Franco. I, I said just, you know, even being a state champ, you know, you always, no matter what, if you're a state champ or not, you always have to wrestle to your toughest because, you know, the person on the other side of the mat of you is always going to come out fighting usually. So and uh, winning a sec, uh, state championship definitely gives it uh, a little bit more because, you have kids now, you know, just coming after me or not, or just trying to keep it close. So you always got to come out and, you know, be ready to go for a battle because you never know who's going to give you a battle or not. It's section title or bust for Minnesink Valley senior James Brain. Brain looks to shed the title of best wrestler never to win a section title. It won't be easy. Returning section nine champ, CJ Floor of Port Jervis, Newburgh Free Academy's Marcus Spearman, and Kingston's Mike McGrath make 189 the most competitive weight in the tournament. James, how much uh, winning a section title this year, how much has that driven you uh, to work this season? Um, this season, I'd probably say that I've worked the hardest I've ever worked. Um, staying after practice, an extra hour, hour and a half, lifting, it just made me want to take that extra step because it means probably most of me than anything else. Wolk Hill senior Tanner Saracino has never won a section tournament match, but with Pine Bush's Lewis Berger likely dropping to 152, Saracino, one of the section's most improved wrestlers, finds himself as a favorite to win at 160 pounds. Uh, I'm going into section. I'm feeling confident. You know, I know it's not going to be a walkthrough. There's, it's never a walkthrough for me. Um, I was never the top guy in the spot last year. I didn't even make it to the second day of sections. You know, now I'm top ranked guy in section, so it's it's pretty cool, you know. Here are some other storylines to watch out for. Valley Central junior 130 pounder Cody Ruggiero goes for his fourth straight section title. Ruggiero is 45 and 0 with 35 pins this season. One of the more entertaining finals could be at 119 pounds, where Newburgh's Taylor Laria, a returning section champ, and Kingston's Corey Stockdale are the top seeds. Stockdale took Ruggiero to the limit last season in a 1-0 finals loss. Who will win their first section title at 285 pounds? Port Jervis senior J.D. Zytone and Minnesink Valley senior Brendan Byrne have wrestled some close matches with Zytone getting his hand raised. Can Zytone pull out a tight match again? The Division II championships are February 21st at Aniora High School. Ellenville's 189-pounder Eric Thayer and Highland's 135-pounder Justin Signorelli are heavy favorites to win section titles. Here are my top 10 wrestlers in all weight classes heading into the Section 9 tournament. 10. Taylor Loria, Newburgh Free Academy, 119 pounds. 9. Matt Parlier, Port Jervis, 171 pounds. 8. Corey Stockdale, Kingston, 119 pounds. 7. Ali Hassan, Valley Central. 135 pounds. 6. James Brain, Minnesink Valley, 189 pounds. 5. Shane Connolly, Warwick, 96 pounds. 4. J.D. Zytone, Port Jervis, 285 pounds. 3. Stephen Butler, Port Jervis, 215 pounds. 2. Jamie Franco, Monroe Woodbury, 125 pounds. And number 1. Cody Ruggiero, Valley Central, 130 pounds. Check varsity45.com for complete coverage of the championships. I'll see you at Monroe Woodbury.